This, of course, has got to do with the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who we are given to understand has just arrived at the airport in Munich. And he is, of course, there to attend the G7 summit. This, of course, is the grouping of the seven richest nations in the world. India is not a member of the G7, but India has been specially invited. And this, of course, is going to be a crucial visit by the Indian Prime Minister. He's in Munich. And a whole host of different issues will, of course, be on the agenda. The war in Ukraine is likely to dominate the talks in Munich. And apart from this, issues such as uh, energy and food insecurity, amongst a whole host of different other issues, are likely to come up for talks between the leaders. Now, this, this of course, is a important trip by the Indian Prime Minister. He'll also be speaking at an Indian community event in Munich, which is expected to be the largest such program post-COVID-19. So it's very early in the morning in Munich. It's 5.35 a.m. in Munich, Germany, and the Indian Prime Minister has just landed there and is being regaled with this performance by an orchestra as soon as he is being welcomed. And this, this, of course, remember, is an important visit by the Indian Prime Minister, where he is, of course, going to be taking part in the talks of the G7 summit. India is not a member of the G7. The G7 is the grouping of the seven richest nations in the world. But India has been invited to bring in more diversity, and, of course, also because of the clout that India carries in the world as an emerging nation, and especially in the context of the war that is unfolding in Ukraine and the many crises that it is also setting off in place. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.